So we're doing a whole section on the Pearl of Great Price right now. I know that the Pearl of Great Price is brought in and weaved in with the stories of the Old Testament, but there's just so much here that we're going to actually do a whole series of videos just on the Pearl of Great Price itself. So this is the introduction video to talk about them. Uh, that kind of goes along with the other introduction video that uh, we did uh, a year ago about the Pearl of Great Price. So watch that to get a little bit more feedback on it, on the Pearl of Great Price. Just a couple of recaps from that other video as well. Just remember that the Pearl of Great Price isn't necessarily, uh, it, it, it's, it's a little different than every all the other books of Scripture that we have. It's not a very big book, but it is probably one of the most doctrinally profound books we have. Honestly, it's, it's totally amazing. Uh, and it is a book that if you understand the Pearl of Great Price and what it teaches, it's like a key that unlocks the wisdom of all the other books of Scripture. And not to mention them, but apocryphal writings and, and uh, some of the Gnostic writings and other things as well. Because it gives us some information that helps us to be able to understand and interpret everything else that's out there. So in a way, the Pearl of Great Price is kind of a Urim and Thummim for the rest of Scripture. So this was, some of this was basically a blessing given to the saints in the early days of the church because of their faithfulness in, in accepting and studying the Book of Mormon, which leads us to wonder, maybe because we're not taking scripture study so serious is why we haven't got anything else since the Pearl of Great Price. So read your scriptures more, folks. That's important. Uh, here's a quote from Hugh Nibley that's a really interesting one. He talks about this about what, you know, how the program price was pulled together. Because it's really the book of Moses, the book of Abraham, Joseph Smith, Matthew, Joseph Smith history, and the articles of faith. Those are the five books that pull it together. And other than just Joseph Smith history, which is his history, the rest are revelations given through Joseph Smith, the prophet. So very, very important. Uh, he says, Hugh Nibley says here, and this is in One Eternal Round, uh, which is volume 19 of the Collected Works of Hugh Nibley. He said, the pearl of great price alone of all our scriptures gives us original testaments from seven great dispensations, all personal testimonies written in the first person. Adam is in here, Enoch, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus Christ, and Joseph Smith. So if you think about it, all the major testimonies of the major dispensations are in the pearl of great price. That's part of why this is a key to unlocking and understanding scriptures and truth in any dispensation. So a lot of fun stuff that we gain uh, with this. So this is, uh, in fact, here's another interesting quote. This is uh, from the book Enoch the Prophet from Hugh Nibley, volume two of the, Pearl, of the collected works of Hugh Nibley. He said, the Pearl of Great Price might well be called the Book of Six Testaments, namely the Book of Moses, including the visions of Moses and the writings of Moses, designated in the ancient manner as the words of God which he spake unto Moses, a revelation of the gospel unto our father Adam, excerpted from his Book of Remembrance, and quoted in the prophecies of Enoch, the Book of Abraham, written by his own hand upon papyrus, this is the title of the book after the ancient fashion, not merely the colophon of one particular manuscript only. An extract from the New Testament, being the 24th chapter of Matthew, also called the Little Apocalypse, and with equal propriety, the Little Enoch. Extracts from the history of Joseph Smith, the prophet, as well. So those are some of the, the six major books or uh, testaments that come together in here as well. So there's the Prologate Price has so much in it. There's so much here that is so important for us to go through. So, oh yeah, Joseph Smith, Matthew, that was the other part that was in here. Um, that's there's just so much guys this is pure revelations given that have such an opportunity for us to learn so we're going to go through all of this and give you more advice and and ideas to understand it better i find it funny in uh, when you read hugh nibley's uh, books when it talks about the book of uh, uh the pearl of great price really not the book of enoch but the pearl of great price he went to, uh, according to him, he went to Brigham Young's uh, board and said, hey, we should teach a course on the Pearl of Great Price. Why are we not teaching this? We teach all the other books of scripture. Why not the Pearl of Great Price? And the, the, the school board told him, we don't think the Pearl of Great Price has enough information in it that we could make an entire course out of it. And he laughed and he said, baloney, there's so much here. It's crazy. And so they said, all right, you build a course and bring it to us and we'll, we'll, we'll approve it. We'll work with you on it.
So he went and built a course. In fact, I think there ended up being like two courses on the Pearl of Great Price. There is so much here, folks. It is amazing. So I'm excited to share it with you so you can learn more about the Pearl of Great Price and the great things that we have. So we're going to go through this and then reference it, of course, as we do the Come Follow Me with Old Testament. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the Book of Moses.